yeah, I think just the experiences he's had in his career and, you know, he was in, you know, my shoes one day with, you know, me trying to, you know, make the NHL, of course, and um, I think just getting to watch him and ask him questions and, and kind of, you know, feed off some of that stuff would be really good for me. What do you take from a, a camp that's set up the way this is, you know, with, with no skating? I'm sure you're on the ice all the time. Is it a bit of a, 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 a break and, and just kind of concentrate on the off-ice stuff, or how do you treat this week? Yeah, I mean, we're going to be, you know, working really hard still, of course, in the gym and, and with everything, and then a lot of kind of, you know, team bonding and, and get to know the city and, and stuff. So, uh, you know, I'm really looking forward to it. It's been a great kind of first day yesterday and then uh, the start of the day. So, um, you know, it's, it's really surreal to be here and, and get started. So it's been, been a lot of fun so far. You heard you wanted the, the skate, even though you're not supposed to skate this <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Uh, they got They got a nice, like, Set, set up shoot pox and stuff, so uh, it's all pretty good. No, I actually did boxing a bit when I was really young for like a couple years or whatever, so I did a bit of that and then I had like did it once in a workout like a couple years ago, so it's been a while. I'm not going to say I'm, I'm any good or anything, but uh, I guess I have a little bit of experience in it. Connor, what you tell me the, uh, the, the purposes for that and, and overall, what are your development goals physically? What was the start of that question? I said, uh, what did they tell you that the boxing would do for you guys? Oh. And then what are your uh, physical development goals overall? Yeah, I think it's really good conditioning thing, uh, boxing, when you're doing it. Well, that's kind of what I've done it for in the past couple times. And then, um, you know, I think uh, that's kind of mostly. And that's also a lot of fun. You're kind of just, you know, I don't know what we're doing. We're not done with it. We're fighting each other. But, uh, you know, it'll be fun to see everyone do that. And then... Uh, you know, for me, physically, you know, get faster, stronger, and, you know, I think kind of, you know, build, build power and everything. So, uh, I mean, obviously a big couple months here before the, you know, training camp. Is there a weight goal? Or? No, I'm pretty happy with my weight. I'm not going to stress about gaining or anything. So, um, you know, just want to, you know, feel good and whatever weight that is, and, you know, I'll try to, try to be at that. Connor, when you talk, uh, shifting back a couple days to Wednesday, <laughs> the Blackhawks, I'm sure you know, had their draft party at the Salt Shed. Guys had your jersey before you were even formally selected. The place went completely ballistic when you were selected officially. You know, what does that say about the fan reception that you've had here so far? Yeah, it's been unreal. I mean, uh, I'm so grateful for all that ever since you know we got to Nashville and everything, and, and obviously the draft. It was it was so cool for me to see that, and you know I know the city loves loves the sports and loves the Blackhawks, so uh, getting in and, and yesterday seeing some of them, and obviously uh, the draft party there there uh, Wednesday. It was. It's unbelievable, and uh, you know we love the support. Connor, we we know what you can do on the ice. That's a given. But on the <coughs> ice, coming to a big city like Chicago, what are some of the things that you have to learn about it? What do you have to do to prepare yourself? What do you have to do off the ice? Yeah, um, I don't know really. I think just for me, uh, you know, I don't think I'm going to be going anywhere too much, except you know the rink and hotel. So um, you know, nothing crazy like that, but. Uh, I just think trying to, you know, like you said with the fans, I'm going to try to, you know, make, have people like me and, and give back to them as, as much as possible. But uh, for me, it's just kind of getting to know the city a little bit and, and touring around. Have you been able to overwhelming? Uh, just focus on what I can control and what's important in my life. And uh, I mean, there's a lot of kind of outside stuff on, on you know, myself and, and just hockey, hockey players in general. So uh, for me, it's just kind of you know, staying in tune with, with what I can control and, and what I find most important. Um, well, we haven't really gone like outside too much, but uh, you know, I think maybe at the airport a couple times or whatnot. But um, no, I mean we haven't really. Gone. I think we'll kind of maybe do some of that stuff later on in the week, but not not totally sure. You said Kane reached out to you, right? Yeah. Was it just a quick text or anything more than that? Uh, he gave me a phone call actually, just kind of congratulating me and, and wished me luck and everything. So uh, telling me a bit about the city. So um, that was super nice of him to do and. Um, you know, I was pretty grateful to hear from him and obviously Chicago legend, so.